Hey guys, Kevin and Sarah Shabbat here. Um, we had somebody uh, comment on the our YouTube channel and say something like, well, you know, I see all these Kong and Water demos, and then there's this mysterious black jug, and the machine's only two feet away from you, so when you're removing pesticides from your produce, why do you use the black jug and not the machine? What is this mysterious liquid in this black jug? And first of all, I want to make something clear. We use these black jugs to store the water so we don't always have to constantly run it through the machine, okay? Because this machine does produce seven different types of amazing, life-changing waters. And we have to press the 2.5 strong acidic button to get the 2.5 strong acidic coming out of there and the 11.5 strong Kangen water out of there, which we use to remove the pesticides from here. So that's why we put it in these black jugs to preserve it. And we keep it in our fridge to keep it fresh. And that's why I've been doing a lot of the demonstrations from here. So this video is a show. I'm going to be doing everything from the machine. Okay. Now I'm going to be com comparing tap water or any other type of conventional waters to strong Kangen water 11.5 and its ability to remove pesticides and the ability to emulsify oil from your produce. So I'm going to get started. And so... I have two white bowls, so you can actually see what's going on. You can actually see the, the different color, okay? And I'm going to put some tomatoes in here. And I know I usually use tap water. Well, this time I'm not going to use tap water. Tap water contains a lot of different chemicals, uh, such as chlorine and so many other, like, lye chemicals. I don't want to put that in my produce because I did buy these, and tomatoes aren't that you know, cheap. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be using bottled water, some Arrowhead bottled water. So at least it's not going to completely contaminate my produce, but I'm going to show you that it doesn't remove any pesticides as well. And I'm going to show you why really fast. I'm, I'm actually not using tap water really fast. I'm going to show you. Here's some chlorine drops. Okay. Shows you if there's a presence of chlorine in your water. And I'm going to show you what's in tap water. Oops. Show you what's in tap water really fast. Okay. Show you what's in tap water. Chlorine drops. If it turns yellow, it has chlorine. Stir this up really fast. Put this right here so you can actually see right here. Just put it in here to kind of show you the white background. It turns very yellow. And I'm going to show you that Kangen water does not contain any chlorine. And this is why we use this water to wash our food and to drink because it doesn't have any chlorine in it. Okay. Put some drops in here. Let's see, mix it around. As you can see, the, the one in the tap water, very yellow. And this will stay clear. See, yellow? Clear. This is Kangen water. Okay? contains nothing but delicious kangen water, no chemicals. Tap water, that goes into your produce. Okay, I've done it to where I, you know, I put food in here and it just sucks right into the food. So there you go, there's the difference. Tap water, kangen water. Now, so, put some tomatoes in here, about five tomatoes, so let's put like, leave, leave them on you. Put eh, five tomatoes in here, okay? One of them, so you know I'm not going to be using tap water because I don't want to have to throw away my food afterwards. I'm going to use bottled water. This is Arrowhead. Okay? And I only buy these Arrowhead bottled waters for the sake of a demonstration. Okay? I'll just put one more. 
And usually when I do the demonstration, I put my strong Kangen water 11.5 water in here to remove the pesticides. But because somebody was very skeptical and thinks that this is a, a magic show or a, or a stunt, I'm going to show uh, straight from the machine. Okay, power on the machine. It's already currently on our drinking water, 9.5. This is what we drink. Now I'm going to select the 2.5 strong acidic option. There's the 2.5s coming out of there, but at the same time, the 11.5 strong Kangen water is coming out the top here. Okay, so I'm going to fill, fill it up. There's not going to be any cut scenes, nothing. I'm not going to say, uh, you know, stay tuned five minutes later. I'm going to show you guys right off the bat how this water removes pesticides. These are organic tomatoes. Okay, so imagine if you were using, you know, non-organic tomatoes. Then, now, every time we use that option, we flush the machine. It says it cleans it. So we're going to flush the machine for a few seconds. I'm going to put these over here. Okay, so now you have organic tomatoes. Doesn't matter if it's organic or not. Most of them usually all have pesticides on them. We're gonna move these around, move these around, okay? We're gonna move these around. Now, all oil, all pesticides are oil-based, okay? So, this water has the ability to emulsify oil. We're rubbing the oil off into the water right now. As over here, I'm rubbing, trying to rub the oil off into the water, as you can see. This water does not have the ability to remove pesticides, okay? And these are organic tomatoes. <laughs> this is crazy. I, you, can, you can see already, okay? So, do you, do you, do you see a difference already? It's not going to remove anything. You, you can't do this with vinegar. You can't nothing, okay? Kangen water has the ability to emulsify oil. And let me show you something. We have some sesame seed oil here. And I'm going to show you how this water has the ability to emulsify oil. That's it. Sesame seed right here. Sesame seed oil. Put some sesame seed oil in this cup. Okay. We're out of bottled water. That's okay because we're going to show you that and everybody washes their produce in tap water. Um, if you're, you know, you're crazy enough to wash your produce in your bottled water, then that's what you do. But um, I'm going to show you really fast tap water. Let's see if this can emulsify oil. Because if it can, then it will definitely remove the pesticides from your produce. As expected, there's no emulsification whatsoever. Okay. It, it doesn't mix. It doesn't mix. Oil and water do not mix. That's right. Okay, so that's that. But when we use strong Kangen water, 11.5 pH water, the same water we're using to remove the pesticides from our produce. So I guess you could say it's a natural degreaser. Okay. I'm going to show you really fast. Right from the machine, no jugs. No skepticism, you know. I'm going to show you right from the machine if this can emulsify oil. Ready for this? Watch. Does anybody see that? Looks like milk. Looks like milk. Okay. Does anybody see the difference? Check that out. So your tap water, your bottled water, any type of water you use, I don't care if you buy some special, you know, you know, uh, produce cleaning solvent or whatever, you know, chemicals you're using to try or attempt to remove the pesticides from your produce, but it's not going to work. You can get an endless amount of this water for the rest of your life from this machine. You can remove all the pesticides from your produce. It's a natural degreaser. It has the ability to emulsify oil. Um, or you can continue using tap water. And if you use tap water, then you're not removing any pesticides and you're actually putting chemicals into your produce. So I want to show you something really fast. As you can see, 
Look at the difference. There's no yellow, there's no pesticides being removed. All the pesticides are still on the produce. Come over here. So what I'm gonna do really fast, I'm gonna take the tomatoes out so you can really see. Okay, yellow water, very yellow water. Then I'm gonna remove these. And there you go. You have, and this is, you know, I use the bottled water, but if you were to use tap water, then you would know that that had chlorine in it, and the chlorine was, is going to go into your produce. This was used with strong Kangen water at 11.5 pH, straight from the machine, and it removed all the pesticides. And in fact, it's kind of funny, because these are squeaky clean, and if you touch these, these are still very oily and greasy. So, you know, like apples have a lot of wax on them or pesticides. So it's good to buy organic, but if you don't have some type of water or ability to remove the excess pesticides from your produce, then you're not, you know, you're not eating really healthy. So you're paying all that money to be healthy, but you're really not because you're eating um, pesticides and you're actually contaminating your produce with tap water. So this is a demonstration. If you have any questions, go ahead and message me. You could uh, leave a comment on the YouTube and uh, subscribe to our um, Facebook channel. And you guys have a great day.